Hello, my name is RJ with RJ's Amazing Entertainment. Today we're going to be face painting a tiger on Colin. Alright, so the first thing that's important about doing a tiger face painting is getting the colors laid out on the face. No matter what type of a face painter you are, you get the foundation on really nicely. The rest of it usually comes together pretty great. So I have a sponge and the sponge I've ordered I've loaded orange on one side and yellow on the other to make it a little bit faster. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to take the orange and we're going to put the orange all up on the top area and all along the sides. And for the yellow, we're just going to flip it over to do the mustache part, muzzle, the chin, go over the lips a little bit, close your eyes for me, and the mask section of the tiger. Okay. So something that's very important to remember is when blending the colors to do the yellow and to push the yellow part out up into the orange. You don't want it to go the other way around because the orange is a darker color. So the darker color is going to be more dominant while the lighter color is going to get muddled easier. Alright, so now you have a very interesting look at the moment. Look towards me a little more. There we go. Thank you. So I have the basic outline for the tiger going on his face right now and I'm using the yellow side to go ahead and start blending this in. I'm working from the inside towards the outside and the dark orange that I put on the outside is slowly starting to get lighter. I can spend five minutes blending on some kids sometimes, just depending on the consistency of the paint, how how thick it is, how much water is on it. Okay. And of course on warmer days outside it goes by much faster. I'm going to load my sponge with some more yellow. Push that out. Okay, if I move your eye again. actually starting to look like a sunset yellow which is sunset yellow orange on his face which is looking so pretty tigers always have those bright beautiful colors Show them both sides. This side and the other side. Alright. We're going to switch to Wolf Black. And I'm going to be using a round number six. I believe I was actually using one of the, the Wolf sponges, high density sponges for the application. Um, this is still, his face is still tacky pretty wet. We're going to go ahead and paint over this anyway. We're going to start with the 
tiger nose, which is just using the natural lines and flanges on the side of his nose to create the shape. Don't need to make it thicker. Cats have very sleek, beautiful faces. Okay, kid me a little. All right, so we're going to do the tiger eye next. For the eye, we're going to go from the corner right here and lift it up, pull it directly over his eyebrow to a point, and then down to the side corner of his eye. Now we'll do the other side. Colin is a really great model. He's sitting perfectly. Let's do the other side now. Start from the inside corner again, pull it up over the eyebrow, corner, and then down. Looks really good. Can I kiss me a bit? Alright, now I'm going to do his mouth. I have a, a method to the madness. I do nose, eyes, mouth, and then the lines. That way I always remember the different parts. For the mouth, we're going to start from the lower corner. We're going to push it out and then up. And it's you smile real quick. So his natural smile line's right there. And I pulled it out farther. Okay, thank you. You can relax. And pulled the line out farther so it creates kind of a cool effect that doesn't look as natural. It's more cat natural, but not as human natural because we're transforming him. So I draw the line down. I paint the upper lip. Okay. And then I add whisker dots. Now, I'm going to come in and do the stripes. We'll start at the forehead right here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And then we're going to do matching lines on the eyebrows. And this is actually one of the exercises that we do in practicing line control. And we start from thin to thick and then pull it out to thin. Again, let me just turn this way a little more. Thank you. So we'll do, oops. A little bit too much there. So I'll do a teardrop and pull it out. The other side. I always want to duplicate the lines on each side. Can I kiss you? Thank you. Okay. And we'll do the chin. And another cool cat stripe on the side. And sometimes I like to paint this part of the lip blue for boys and pink for girls. Today we're just going to keep it black. Then I'm going to switch to wolf white 
And I'm just using Wolf Black in case I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry if this tickles. I know it can tickle when I'm painting on lips. Okay, my cute little tiger teeth. And okay. add in his whiskers. Outline his teeth. All right. Nose, eyes, mouth, muzzle, whiskers, tiger lines. We're done. Take a look, Colin. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you.